All right, hello. Welcome to another Scars of Mirrodin draft. This is actually a 4-3-2-2 because the 8-4 was taking forever to fire, so we'll see if we notice a difference. Here's the first pick. Um, I like Rustic a lot. There's also, just could take Corpse Cur to go into Infect, which is a possibility, but I'm just not a huge fan. I think Rustic is a really flexible choice. It goes in pretty much any deck, aggro or control, metalcraft, anything. Not poison. Um, and as much as I am interested in taking the Corpse Cur and running with poison, I'm... Like, that's probably maybe a better choice, but I'm not interested in that. I like exploring deck possibilities, and Rustic is, is more interesting for sure. Of course, I get past the Plague Singer and somewhat regret that decision. Hmm. I could take a Trigon of Thought. It's kind of early for that. Take an Origin Spell Bomb. A Wall of Tangle Cord, that's a deck I like. Plague Singer is just by far the most powerful card in here, though. I think I just have to take it. You don't have to have an Infect deck to play this guy. Again, I think the Infect creatures get a bad rap. You just don't want to really go aggro with the infect creatures, but they're they're this is a halfway decent control card. Ooh look, another rustic. Yeah, I think I'll just take another rustic. These guys are annoying in this format. As long as I can I can remember to untap them. It's either that or a barrage ogre or an iron mirror. But I think it's too early to go into a color, even though that's a signal. I like taking colorless cards as long as I can. Ooh, Grind Clock. There's also Golem Artisan, Sky Eel School, Silvok Replica, Glinthawk Idol. Jeez, these are all really good cards. I think I found Golem Artisan to be almost a bomb. This card, unchecked, especially late in the game when you can keep up enough mana to protect it, can just win games. There's also the Sky Eel School, though, which is definitely worth considering. I think I'll just take the Golem Artisan, because it's basically a 3-3 flyer for 5 with a better ability, and doesn't cost blue mana. So I, I suppose that means the the fish are not worth considering there, really. Ooh, Glint Hawk, and there's an Ember Smith. Ember Smith is just insane, though. I think I'm interested in Metalcraft. I like the Glint Hawk, but I think we can all agree Ember Smith is the pick here. Start moving it on, on red. Some good cards in here, though. Walls and Shields. Hmm. Well... There's Dark Steel Mirror, which is good with the Artisan and the Ember Smith and the Rust Ticks, because it just generally helps me with the control strategy. Um, I think it's underrated, but it's not amazing. It's that or like Halt Order or a Flesh Allergy, I suppose. Flesh Allergy, maybe. I guess black isn't the absolute worst, but I'm moving towards a metalcraft deck. Dark Steel Mirror is fine. And along those lines, Saber Claw Golem is fine. This guy's good when he's good. Prototype Portal is just asking to be two for one. I think it it's a decent sideboard card against card decks you're pretty sure don't have an answer. Well, I could take Stoic Rebuttal. I kind of like Trigon of Bending, though, in a control-ish deck with Embersmith. It's not half bad. It's cheap artifact. So I'll go ahead and grab that. 
Although at this point, black seems a little bit better than white. I'll definitely take the Moriak replica over all these other cards. Including the Flameborn Hellion that I like a little bit. But um, this guy makes me interested in going black red, I guess. Hmm. Daredevil? Nah, that's horrible in this deck. I could see Flameborn Hellion actually being okay. Or just take the Soliton. This lets me go blue late if I get like a heavy Arbalest. can be kind of insane. could also get Salvage Scout. I'm going to go with the Soliton. Just to artifact up like crazy. And I guess Kadoltha Rebirth for Signals. I could just splash black. Probably not playing the Plague Singer. Ooh, Grind Clock made it all the way around. That's sweet in a deck like this. When Grind Clock's good, it's really good. Sure, Golden Urn. I could almost play Glimmer Post. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm gonna hide that. <laughs> that seems a little too loose even for me. Hmm, this is an interesting draft. I've never gone this artifact heavy before. I wonder if I could play completely colorless. I guess it's not worth it, especially with Ember Smith already. And these abilities on this cycle here. Replicas. Rustic's like the one of the only truly colorless cards I have. And Grind Clock, Dark Steel Mirror, and Golem Artisan. I really wish you could just drag cards around. The recent Magic TV was on Wishless. My wish is that I can drag my cards around while I'm drafting. Whoa. Rust tick number three, that just seems a little over the top. I think I'm better off just with the Dark Steel Axe. Both helps with my metal craft and makes like my Rust Ticks and Dark Steel Mirror and stuff actually a threat. There's also a Volshock replica, I suppose, but I think Dark Steel Axe is the way to go here. Could potentially get a uh Bloodshot Trainee. Go ahead and hide the Golden Urn. Hopefully I don't have to use it. This card's okay in this deck. I mean, I guess this deck could turn into an offensive deck. I've just been seeing the control decks winning in uh, in this format more. Hmm. True conviction, huh? Wow. There's also Tangle Angler. And then there's like Glint Hawk Idol, Snap Sail Mirror, and Gold Mirror that aren't even nearly as good as these other cards. I don't have any reason not to go Red White Metalcraft, and this is certainly a scary card. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I'll probably take this card a little too much, but... Ooh. Rusted Relic or Arrest and, or Galvanic Blast. I think I have to take the Rusted Relic. I don't have any 4-drops yet. And I haven't committed myself to white with that True Conviction pick. Um, as good as Galvanic Blast is, Rusted Relic is is really, really huge in a deck with this many artifacts. People might make fun of me for that too over Galvanic Blast, but I think that's right. Especially with so few creatures. Need to bust out some good creatures. 
It's good with the artisan. It's good with true conviction if I end up white. Continues to allow me to avoid making the decision of what color to play. Oh, Looming Grid Drake is good in this deck, but so is Origin Spellbomb. Man, that's a tang late Tangle Angler, though. Could have had a pretty sick Poison deck, I think. Just so sick of that deck. Can I really take Tangle Angler over Origin Spellbomb? I think I have to at this point. Well, not, I mean. Um, Nurok Replica. Even just as a 1-4, this is pretty sweet. Somebody's going to have a sweet and effect deck. See if this is going to be good enough to beat it. Be cool to pick up a couple colored mirror. I could see this deck being just like red white for the true conviction and the ember smith, and then a bunch of off color mirror for the activations. Just hoping to go with it. Um, I think I could take Trigon of Thought. Blue's still not out of the question here. Plated Sea Strider, but I've got lots of other ways of clogging the board. Trigon of Thought is a very interesting card. Hmm. Ooh, Galma's Warden. Galma's Warden is going to be sweet in this deck. I think that's going to push me towards white pretty hard. Maybe I should have just been green with multiple Tangle Anglers and Acid Web Spider. But I'm going to go ahead and with Galma's Warden here. And sure, I'll take a really, really late Tumble Magnet. Man, this would have been a sweet poison deck. Sunspear Shikari seems fine. I've got the axe. And could pick up more equipment in pack three. So many artifacts, I can pick up some off color cards. Goes really well with True Conviction and Dark Steel Axe. This deck is pretty sweet. My only regret is not going poison, but I knew, I basically said that was the right play. Just didn't want to do it again, but that's allowing bias to affect your drafting, which I should really not do. Wayfarer could be good in this deck. Probably won't play it though. And I, wow, that's a late Drake. It's not too late to go blue. Volition Reigns or, you know, I've got Neurok Replica and stuff. <laughs> Take another Glimmer Post. No, Twisted Image is actually playable. Okay. What's going on with the colors here? Again, so many of these cards are actually colored cards. This color sort is useless. It's easier to just do it this way. Well, there's a Scrap Melter and another Galvanic Blast, but I think the Scrap Melter is better. Chrome Steed, too, but clearly Scrap Melter is better than that. I mean, I think at this point I am pretty well committed to red with Ember Smith and Saber Claw Golem. Is that really it? But then Scrap Melter. I mean, I could just take Chrome Seed. I could end up like blue, but nah. I'm just going to take the Scrap Melter. It's also ridiculously good against me. Oh, it's like the fifth Tangle Angler. So do I take the Gold Mirror? Or to just take the Ratchet Bomb. I have a feeling this isn't as good in Limited. I've said that before.
It's just so random. I'd rather be spending my time doing something useful like playing my other cards with a gold mirror. It's either that or a Glinthawk idol. But I think... I think a gold mirror to help me cast True Conviction is probably a good idea. Wow, a Memnite. I could actually play that. It's not amazing in this deck. I should just take a Moriak replica instead, but it is a zero cost artifact. Wow. I could play black for I mean if I had the insul infection, I'll probably I might play the Moriak replica just as a bear. But I'd rather have a Memnite than another Moriak replica. I can almost take a Golem Foundry. Nah, I still don't. It's impossible to have this many artifacts. You need Proliferate. I could take a Bleak Coven Vampires. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play Memnite. I've never tried Memnite. Maybe it's better than I think it is. Okay, and here's where I need to pick a color. So I'm going to hide the blue cards. Soliton's probably still just playable, just as is. Okay, so this is where I stand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 artifacts. Wow. I could take a Leaden Mirror to help me activate Moriok Replica. Or I could just take a Galma's Gal Warden to help me beat down like crazy. Or a Palladium Mirror to help me accelerate. Palladium Mirror is probably just right. This guy's... Scary, I don't have enough equipment to make Bloodshot Trainee really good. Yeah, or uh, Trigon of Rage. I think I just take the Palladium Mirror here. This guy is nasty. And Glinthawk, that's another good reason to have a Memnite. Or there's a Volition Reigns. Jeez. I think I have to just commit to white and take the glint hawk there. White is looking better than blue overall. So there's mere galvanizer or just a snap sail glider. Hmm, maybe blue was the way to go. I guess I, I could have gone blue, white, splash, red. But that sucks with true conviction. I'd rather my deck just be consistent. I think I'll just go with the Snap Sail Glider here. Means I can cut Moriak Replica. Yeah, it's very likely that I should have been blue. Neckerjin Scudder is the thing I fear the most, I think. I'm just going to take this. I don't think I'm playing any of those cards, sadly. Yeah, I'm just getting all kinds of good cards in blue. I guess I have to take the Trinket Mage. So good. Ah! Could have had a million Surtarks. Disperse. We'll just take a Surtark. I could see that being good in this. Man. Huge mistake. Take Bonds of Quicksilver. Should have taken that Volition Reigns. Over the Glint Hawk. Mm, just take a Wayfarer. That's looking like the deck. Man, it would be nice to have some blue. We... Well... This is basically just as good as Luxodon Wayfarer, only it's an artifact which makes it better.
Yeah, I could have done I could have done this draft a little bit better. I think it was a mistake not to go into blue. I'm not sure there's like a specific pick that I screwed up, but I could see playing Salvage Scout in this. I guess Foil Swamp is value. Seems like the pick. Alright, yeah, train wreck, but I mean it's not it's not a train wreck, train wreck, it's a deck, that's for sure. But it could be way better. Um cards I'm playing, cards I might be playing. Um Ember Smith and Scrap Melter. Maybe I just splash both of these colors. Some of these are really good cards. I'm pretty excited about a lot of those cards that I just put in there. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, I think it's just the Soliton. I could try to get cute with some blue, but I don't want to screw up my mana base when it's basically fine without those cards. I think this is good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have 17 artifacts. That's a lot of artifacts. I think this is going to be good. It's certainly different. That's what we're trying to make these videos for, right, is experimentation, um, you know, the thought process. Obviously, I saw some of those other decks going by. Um, probably should have actually moved in on blue because it was, it was very well aligned with what I was doing. I should have basically just ditched white for blue. I don't think it was too late to do that and just go red-blue and basically straight up trade true conviction for um for volition reigns then i wouldn't have the glint hawk like look at it look at it like that so if you go true conviction out glint hawk out shikari out galma's warden out like gold mirror origin spell bomb this is still basically the core of the deck Except it would have like a Trinket Mage and Lumen Grid Drake and a bunch of other insane cards. And I'm I'm pretty sure those are just better. But we'll see how it goes in practice. I've mostly avoided white as a main color in this format. And uh it seems like pretty much everybody else does that also. It's a good splash. You can just snipe those arrests and those revokes. 11 6. 11 should be enough for pretty solid true conviction. I guess I could easily just go 12 5. There's no reason not to. Do I, th I think I th actually th go throw in an island. Just on the off chance that I can get value out of my uh, Soliton or my Nurok Replica. I think that's right. Because I have the uh, Gold Mirror to help me out with the True Conviction. And that's a lot of planes, so... Well... Hmm... Maybe it's better to just have an early Ember Smith. Five should be plenty of mountains. Hmm. I think. I think going six, ten, one is fine. Although at that point I should just bring in 11 to make my mana better and not worry about the activation on the Narok Replica. That might be a sideboard option. Alright, see how it goes.